Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial, I want to use the idea of partial law to derive the general formula used for solving any form of quadratic equation. As you know that, this is general form of any quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. And if you graph this, you're going to obtain something like this. And what you should know is that those two points where the parabola crosses the x-axis are said to be the solution with the roots of that quadratic equation. And the line of symmetry is the line that divides the parabola into two equal parts, which is this one. So what do we know about this line? This line can be obtained by adding these two roots together and dividing by two. But we don't know the roots and we are looking for the roots. And in the process, we are going to obtain the general formula used for solving quadratic equations. But without these roots, the line of symmetry can always be of 10 as negative b divided by 2a. Once you take the coefficient of x, you multiply it by negative 1 and divide by 2 multiplied by the leading coefficient, it will give us exactly the value of x at this point. And one interesting thing about this line of symmetry, it has equal distance from the two given roots. So from the line of symmetry to this root is exactly equal to the distance from the line of symmetry to the other root. Therefore, whatever distance is here, if you add it to the line of symmetry, you're going to obtain the root to the right hand side. And if you subtract the same value from the line of symmetry, you're going to obtain the other root to the left hand side. So if that is the case, let's go ahead and do that. Let the distance be equal to y, right? Therefore, if we add y here, we are going to obtain this root. And if we subtract y, we are going to obtain this other root. Therefore, our two roots becomes x1 equal to the line of symmetry minus b divided by 2a plus that value which is the distance y and if you want to obtain the other root x2 you subtract you subtract y from the line of symmetry and the line of symmetry is negative b divided by 2a therefore we subtract y and one thing you should remember about these two roots whenever you multiply your two roots together you will always obtain the ratio of the constant term to the leading coefficient, which is the same thing as c divided by a. So x1, which is the first root, multiplied by x2, the second root, is equal to minus b divided by 2a plus y multiplied by minus b divided by 2a, then minus y. If you multiply this, you're going to obtain the ratio of the constant term to the leading coefficient. And this is just difference of two squares, which is simple to expand. You take the first term, which is negative b divided by 2a, you square that, which will give us b squared divided by 4a squared. Then you subtract, you take the second term, y, and you square that as well. This is just the expansion of these two brackets. And this must be equal to C divided by A. So our main goal here is to solve for Y, then plug it back into these two equations to obtain our required roots. Therefore, let us make Y the subject here. Y squared will be equal to B squared divided by 4A squared minus C divided by A. The LCM between the denominators is 4a squared, right? And if you take 4a squared, you plug it into 4a squared, it is going to go there one time. Then you multiply by the numerator b squared. We have b squared. Then you subtract. Take a, plug it in here. You're going to obtain 4a. Then you multiply by the numerator c. You have 4a. A C. This is equal to y squared. And to find y, which we are looking for, you can take the square root of both sides. Therefore, y 
will be equal to the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 4a squared. And the square root of 4a squared is just 2a, so we can simplify that. I remember the plus or minus here. Finally, the value of y that we are looking for is equal to the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Don't forget the plus or minus. So now, since we have obtained the value of y, we can go ahead and plug it back into these two equations. But look at these two equations. They are symmetrical, right? Therefore, we can say that x is equal to minus b divided by 2a plus o minus y because you can see we have plus here o minus so we can substitute the value of y into this equation right so in general x is equal to minus b divided by 2a plus o minus y but y is this right already we have our plus or minus so we have the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Look at the denominators, they are exactly the same. Therefore, you can take 1 and add or subtract the numerators. Finally, we obtain our equation x equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divide by 2a and this is the general formula used for solving any form of quadratic equation and this is all i have for you today thank you for watching do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more exciting videos bye bye